This came out of nowhere, but I am so happy. One of my favorite manga of all time, Siguatera by Minoru Furuya, has recently been adapted into a TV drama. I think the drama is going to be as great as the manga. Siguatera is a classic seinen romance. I would even stretch out and say that it's one of the greatest modern romances in literature. It tells the story of Ojino and Takai, two high schoolers who share a bond over motorcycles. In secret, they're learning how to get their motorcycle license as a means of escaping the mundane reality of high school. However, they also share a bully, Tanigawa, a cooler than cool yet very rough around the edges individual who alternates between beating up on these two kids and screwing around with his girlfriend. Ojino is able to take all of it in stride though, and the actor who was casted to play Ojino is the perfect fit. Ojino is the prototypical overexcited shonen lead. The thing is, he's the only person in the manga who has this overexcited, super eccentric attitude. Everyone else is played very straight. So it's cool to see these actors really embrace their role but then to see Ojino be super hyperactive in every other scene. It was a little grating in the manga, but this is done on purpose. So long as you can appreciate the efforts that the actor is going to, to encapture the spirit of Ojino in the manga and translate it to the screen, you'll be able to stand this performance and maybe even see the real talent behind it. The bullying scenes are captured well. Takai is a ticking time bomb. His mold of character would be further explored in later seinen manga like Wolf Guy and even a lot of edgy shonens that you see nowadays. He's a character I really appreciate and I wonder if the TV drama is going to be able to really explore his psyche. The motorcycles also seem to be an important part of this show. I was wondering how that would turn out because motorcycle culture is very big in this manga, especially in the early parts, but I can't wait to see what they bring out on set. It's really nice to see that the TV drama is going to be set in this time. Yeah, cell phones were in Ciguatera early to mid 2000s, but I think the overall impact of this series is going to resonate even more because of the modernization and the fact that we now have social media involved. I am a little worried about Nagumo though. The actress is fine. We haven't heard her really say much yet, but she will be a very important part of the show. The thing is, Nagumo in the manga, she's a bombshell and this actress is very pretty, don't get me wrong, but I have a thing for adaptions that get the tone of their source material correct. Um, I feel like they should go all the way and also get the actors to fill the role and be as close to the character as possible. Nagumo here, it, it feels like a different character, but I'm willing to wait it out and see. I'm sure she's incredibly talented, and I think this is a show that everyone should watch. Yeah, the manga is great too, but... Probably watch the show first and then go backwards. Even from the opening, you can see that they're going to be relying heavily on the manga. They were showing you a lot of panels of what's to come over the next uh, few volumes, I guess the next few episodes. I don't watch many dramas, but I'm willing to get back into them if I have the free time. And I think Siguatera is going to help uh, me go back to it. If you have any recommendations for dramas that you're watching, I would love to check them out. Thanks for watching the video.